So the Ace Attorney series makes being a lawyer a badass. You play as a guy named Phoenix Wright and you lay the beat down in court. The visual novels where cases get crazier than an episode of CSI Miami and you screaming objection several times into your screen is a big hit among niche gamers. Having a passionate fan base for this game is quite impressive since when it came out back in 2005, the most popular genres were games such as FPSs, RTSs, and sports games. So we're gonna take a look how the Ace Attorney series became so popular and gained a legion of fans. But before we do that, let's talk about what exactly is Ace Attorney? The first game starts off like this. You play as an aspiring lawyer based in a fictionalized version of LA. You just graduated and are studying under a renowned lawyer named Mia Fey. Then out of nowhere, you get your first murder case and Miss Fey sends you right into the fire. From there, your life as a lawyer becomes insane and you'll soon be solving deep, complex murder cases while screaming into your Nintendo DS objection. Welcome to the life of Phoenix Wright. Yup, that's actually his name. The Capcom-led game came out in 2005 in the US and attracted a fan base dedicated to the series. As mentioned earlier, the game takes place in California with a heavy Japanese influence. Many of the game's international fans call the setting Japanifornia. Now there's six titles in the mainline, with the first three forming a must-play trilogy. These first three games are considered the foundation of the Ace Attorney series. Think of it as the original Star Wars episodes of 4, 5, and 6. They're classics that you just have to play first. The fourth one features a new lawyer, Apollo Justice, and the fifth and sixth games feature Phoenix in his later years. Now let's break down what makes the series so popular to its legion of fans. The first one is the compelling court cases. The court cases are the crux of the game, and with good reason. They're incredibly fun and have some of the most interesting cases. Since you play as a defense lawyer as Phoenix Wright, pretty much all the cases start off as your client being screwed from the start. The evidence and witness testimony presented at first already points to a guilty verdict. To make things worse, the judge really isn't the smartest person in the room, and he's ready to hit the gavel and declare your client guilty right away. So it's up to you, Phoenix Wright, to not only prove these allegations against your client false, but to turn around the case and ultimately prove your client innocent. So much for innocent until being proven guilty, huh? Now the setup of Ace Attorney of Guilty First is actually normal in Japan. After all, about 95 to 99% of the cases in Japan are won by the prosecutor. As defense attorneys are a massive underdog in the Japanese courtroom, Ace Attorney paints a picture that maybe, just maybe, defense attorneys can clear their clients of a crime they've never done. The game is the ultimate underdog game, and a great one at that. When in the courtroom, you'll be reading a lot of texts. You'll also hear testimonies, and if you catch a contradiction in their statement, you'll hit them with evidence or logic to blast their lies. In later installments of the Ace Attorney series, it will introduce new features to help you solve cases. While this series does have its fantasy elements in it, the game is still rooted in realism, using good old evidence and logic to win the cases. And you'll have a great feeling when you untangle each case, decode what's really going on, and find out each person's motive. Now we gotta talk about the humor and jokes of this game. This game has a definite campy feel, and yes, while the cases get very serious most of the time, there's this comedic element that Phoenix has while in court cases. Although a smart lawyer, he doesn't have all the answers, and when you see him try to BS his way through some of the court cases, it's great to see some of the other lawyers catching him on his act and think that he's BSing. And of course, as mentioned earlier, there's also that sense of humor when he says, OBJECTION in court. The next one, it's an easy game to get into for non-gamers. I've heard from many gamers had a first introduced their non-gaming parents, friends, or boyfriend girlfriends to gaming through Ace Attorney. Just saying that the game is like the video game version of Law & Order will make it understood to non-gamers. The underdog story, the quirky characters, and how the game tests your brain rather than your twitch senses and reflexes make the game welcoming to non-gamers. When creating the game, main developer Shu Takumi wanted the series to be as easily accessible that even his mother can play. The likable characters also make the game easy to get into as well, which brings up the next point the characters. The game's cast also adds this flavorful humor to the series. You have characters such as Maya Fey, Larry Butts, Francesca Von Karma, and Detective Gumshoot that will make you laugh throughout the series. The characters are some of the most unique allies, witnesses, or adversaries you'll ever meet in a game. You'll start to care about them, learn their quirks, and become interested in how they evolve throughout the series. As the series progresses, the cast naturally gets larger. 
but the series does a good job of revisiting older friends from previous series. You'll be curious how characters that haven't shown up in previous games are faring. One of the best examples is Maya Fey, a teenage spirit medium that's introduced in the very first game. She quickly becomes a close friend of Phoenix's. The banter and jokes between Maya and Phoenix in the first three games is priceless, but by the fourth game, she's absent, as fans of the series petitioned for her to come back. By the sixth game, Spirits of Justice, however, fans got their wish. After nine years later, in game years, she returns as a much more mature lady. It's seeing long-lost friends like Maya that make playing the entire series more worthwhile. The series also reflects Phoenix's rise from a rookie defense lawyer to much of a legend. In the very first game released in the US in 2005, Phoenix is only 24 and fresh out of lawyer school. 12 years later, in the 2016 game Spirits of Justice, he is now 36 and actually has a daughter. You'll find that you've grown alongside Phoenix playing through the six mainline titles. Also, as the series progresses, it's not just a one-man show with Phoenix anymore. By 2013's Dual Destiny, Phoenix welcomed two new lawyer sidekicks, Apollo Justice and Athena Skies. This continues in the 2016 game Spirits of Justice, where the game largely concentrates on Phoenix and Apollo being the main characters. The next one, the spin-off games. One of the most popular characters from the main Phoenix games, Prosecutor Miles Edgeworth, became so popular that he got his own spin-off. This series, called Ace Attorney Investigations, looks at the cases from a prosecutor's point of view. Aided by his own sidekicks, Detective Gumshoe and your assistant, K. Valentine, these three solve cases and have their own story independent from Phoenix's story in the mainline series. Another spin-off called Dai Gakuten Saiban Naruhoro Runosuke no Bokken and is about Phoenix's ancestor, Naruhoro Runosuke, who's also a defense lawyer living in the late 1800s in Japan. Only released in Japan, this spin-off takes place during the Meiji era, when Japan is opened up to the West and starting to industrialize. Sherlock Holmes also makes an appearance during this game as well, but this game actually never made it overseas, so it's only in Japan. However, there are translators that did sub the game into English, so it's possible if you want to check out this game as well. In addition to the spin-off games, there's also a live-action movie in 2012, as well as the Phoenix cameos in other games, such as Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. And we can't talk about this game without talking about its game's influence in the series awards. Since being introduced to the US audience in 2005, the game has already been claimed as one of the best games ever. Destructoid named the series the 48th best game in the 2000s decade. Game Informer ranked it the 178th best game of all time back in 2009, and Games Radar named it the 55th best game of all time in 2015, calling it Shu Takumi's masterpiece. For a game that doesn't have the highest edge graphics, is regarded as one of the most unique, fun games created. The Ace Attorney series shows that successful games can come from any genre, not just sports, MOBAs, or FPS games. So wrapping it up, Ace Attorney's a great entry if you want to get into visual novel games. The chance to be a lawyer and lay a beat down on the criminals is just a great feeling. As we talked about in this video, there's so many reasons why this game is beloved by many today. The unique cast, compelling court cases, and just testing your brain to see if you can solve each case just makes each game in the series very enjoyable to play. So if you're in a murder mystery games or court case games such as the Danganronpa series or the 999 series, you gotta check out this game. So now it's over to you. What do you guys think about this video? Have you guys ever played Ace Attorney? And if you want more videos on in-depth gaming, particularly East Asian gaming, then hit that subscribe button below. And with that being said, I'm off to play some more video games, but I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy guys.